Hi, I'm Dan Miller and I'm going to give you a demonstration today about climate change. A lot of people wonder how can carbon dioxide or CO2 can have such a big impact on heating the earth when it's such a tiny fraction of the atmosphere. It's only 0.04% of the atmosphere. Well, it turns out that some materials, and even in very small amounts, can have big impacts. Now, CO2 is invisible in visible radiation or light, but does a good job of blocking infrared radiation or heat, and that's why it's a greenhouse gas. But because it's invisible, it's hard to see and it's hard to do a demonstration with it. So instead, we're going to use a material that's very good at blocking visible radiation or light, and that's ink. So what we have here is, uh, this is India ink, and we've diluted it down in a solution of nine parts water to one part uh, full strength ink. And we put it in some syringes here in varying amounts that we're about to take a look at. Now, over here we have three containers of water uh, with two liters of water in each. Now this one we're going to leave alone at, and leave it pure water, and that's why it says zero parts per million. Over here, we're going to put in 280 parts per million of our ink solution into this water. 280 parts per million is the amount of CO2 that was in the atmosphere in pre-industrial times. So let's take this syringe here, which is filled with our ink solution, take the cap off, and slowly put the ink in the water. There we go. And then we're going to take a chopstick. <laughs> and stir it around. And we can see that even at 280 parts per million of our ink solution, it's quite a bit darker than, than the water without the ink. So very, very small amount of ink in this water. In fact, we used an ink solution, which was only 10% ink. So this is really only 28 parts per million of uh, ink in this water, and yet it darkens it quite a bit. Now, we haven't uh, we've been digging up fossil fuels and burning them for the last couple hundred years, and we've already increased the level of CO2 in the atmosphere by about 38% to about 390 parts per million. So now what we're going to do is take this syringe here and, whoop, I dropped in the cap, and now we're going to put in 390 parts per million of ink. Put that back over there. Take another chopstick and stir it around. So we can see that this one is actually significantly darker than the 280 parts per million. Um, but the thing is, we haven't, we're not stopping in uh, releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. We're continuing to burn fossil fuels. So scientists tell us they expect this century that the CO2 level in the atmosphere will double, at least double, from the 280 parts per million of the pre-industrial times to at least 560, if not more. So what we're going to do is put a little more ink in, another 170 parts per million of ink. And even though it's pretty dark already, I got another chopstick here, we're going to put it in here. So what we can see here is that CO2, in this case ink, even at very, very small amounts can have a big impact on transmission of light through the water. And that the amount that we're putting into the atmosphere is significantly more than the amount that's in there already. The amount that was in there in pre-industrial times was sort of the sweet, sweet spot. This is how civilization grew in this period when the warming of the earth was just right. But now it's already pretty high and going higher. And CO2, because it's th their molecules are just the right size to capture heat, does it acts like a blanket. So one blanket is good. Two blankets will be too warm for us. And I hope that uh, this explains how things in very small amounts can have big impacts. If you'd like some more information on climate change, you can visit my website, which is www.climateplace.org. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.